was looking for the good in a fire that burned my house down was a light that led the way from my cold and lonely hometown but now i'm growing up i see a new by starlight the monster in the embers will not be stopped by night so i turn to lonely fly by the light of my bridge is burning i will cast aside my name there's nothing left to hold me here in the last kingdom of my shame and though i hear your chanting of die 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 i will be your son no more you don't deserve to have me try Knives in the land where empire started, in the graveyard of the future, where the island soul departed, and your father told you lies about where to find your heartbeat. So you play the game of progress, where there's only win or cheat. I'll embrace my first defeat by the light of my branches burning. I will cast aside my name. Nothing left to hold me here in the last kingdom of my shame. And though I hear your chanting of die, 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 I will be your son no more. You don't deserve to have me try. Right, let's go. Um, so, last time out, what did we do last time out? Last time out, we uh, finished the Ziggy section of the game, or maybe we finished that at the end of the previous section. Um, and then Ziggy and Momo ended up on the Elsa, which is this ship. Um, and the Elsa was attacked by robots that were trying to get Momo back. And you just no. Um, and we fought off the robots. And that was where we left off. And now we're going to go to bed and move to a different section of the game altogether, I believe. Hey, doll. How's it going? I mean, not on the deck I thought it was on. Destroy all the deck. All the crates. Last time, I'm sure the crate contents were resetting. Doesn't appear to be the case anymore. Uh, oh, that's right, that's right. Haven't quite got the hang of the lay layout of this ship. Um, I feel like I'm sat weirdly close to my screen today. I am having, I've been having more visual processing weirdness uh, of late. Um which is probably what's going on. But uh, suddenly the screen looks very big. The game window looks very big. <sighs> Hopefully the load speed will pick up a bit. Uh, hydration check. Good 
can tell we're moving to another section because cutscene save. My water bottle just dripped water all down my arm. How uncomfortable. Oh, come on, game. Here we go. It was very dark, and the wind howled horribly around her. Here we go! She felt as if she were being rocked gently like a baby in a cradle. It's Junior! All's quiet after the storm. There's no trace of anything. Over. So, story about this character. Does his fishing look something like this? You're quite the uh, poet today, little master. Where do you come I up first with this watched a let's huh? play of this game in books, Mary. It's good 2015. Books summer of 2015. Paper, little master, and there's such a pain to carry around. Paper and stone tablets last longer than optical data. Um, which Besides, was right around the time that Lexi sleep. and I and our friend Leroy were anything showing up? starting to put the plans Nothing together for even the uh, what became DGC, Not the even gas podcast. Or dust. If it was a giant flare, it should have at least left behind and, some high energy um, particles. Other big thing that was happening that summer, unbeknownst to anyone but me, and even only semi beknownst to me, be? was um, me kind of figuring out that I'm trans ago. and I was going to transition. Um, and so, and I, I kind of, I knew that something was up with my gender, and I wasn't sure what. Um, and um, sort of looking around for retrieving little master gendered expressions six. that were non-conforming in a way Open that I could imagine was right six. for me because I couldn't from that point imagine like making a full transition which obviously I came around on that pretty quickly um, making for like binary transition. Let's go. Um, Keep up the pace, everyone. We still got work to do. And one of the very first characters that I remember latching onto was Junior here. Hey, welcome back, little master. Um, yeah. And in particular, his earring. I really like Oriana's his earring. Is completely vanished, but it doesn't seem like it was destroyed. It's almost um, as if someone is hiding it somewhere. Hiding it? Where and, would that uh, be? I would still like it if I could find who someone knows? who would make me this earring. <laughs> to be honest. The best way to find out would be uh, to ask the person who's hiding it. Shelly? It's very slight, but I'm getting a reaction from also, the timer. Also, the emulator no really doesn't about. like running cockpit cutscenes, I think. Matches, maybe? What happened to that fleet anyway? You can tell his speech is slightly slowed we down. We haven't heard anything since we picked up that distress signal six Hydration hours check. ago. Gnosis, huh? Hmm. They must have been totally wiped out. Not necessarily. When the little ones play with fire, you know their folks can't be too far behind. Oh, I get it. So you reckon that the mom is gonna show up soon? Exactly. Change course. Proceed to the last known coordinates of the Federation fleet. <laughs> Gender is several fucks, but Junior is alright. I think Chaos too, who we met last week, um, but to a lesser extent. him by thinking he was just a relic from an age gone by. In regards to the information leak, we traced it to the Special Ops Intelligence Bureau. We're currently looking into how they discovered the route to Proloma. I apologize for the trouble. <laughs> Did you hear the voice actor there stumble over saying Pleroma and say Proloma I'll leave instead? Their extermination to you. Very well. Understandable so, mistake given how that must have sounded in the Japanese. Oh, they'll come. After all, that's the reason for their existence. Ouch. It also happens to be Milsha's Achilles heel. I'll handle the negotiations with the military. I leave the rest to 
Oh, he's one of the guys on the Jedi Council. That's where I've seen him before. Commander? And that's Cherenko. What is it? My Gullis doesn't Zohar have any eyebrows. Taken by the Gnosis. But but I managed to secure the 100 series Realian. It's currently on board a cargo ship. Headed for the Milshan star system. I believe it is the same one you had secured on Priloma. Well, oh, he you... also said Priloma. Just stick to your duties. I wonder if the voice actors what? got briefed Don't differently to the, the scope of your subwriters. We've already confirmed all the variables. The situation is proceeding according to plan. But, but, but sir... Return to headquarters at once. I'll deal with you then. Understood? Get the registration of the ship that signal came from. Track Cherenkov's marker. Yes, sir. You just love barking out those orders, don't you, Margulis? Show a little love to your dogs, or else they might bite you one day. You. Here he is. The prototype belongs to me. I've grown bored with these Kirschwassers. So you're going? I think I'm more likely to succeed than your I don't dogs. actually know what Kirschwasser means. Ah, yes. Feed me your hostility. Pierce me with your hatred. Kirsch, <laughs> I associate with cherry. <laughs> I wonder if Vasa no, is wait. like... I mean, it can mean water. I won't get in your way. We're working toward the same goal, right? But it might well mean something else as well. Anyway, I don't think we've had that character named yet. Um. Who, the white-haired guy? This is after the original Half- The original Half-Life is late 90s, isn't it? Ah, Momo. My adorable little pesh. Of course, to emphasize that if he's creepy, he occasionally uses French words for things. It's not the creepiest thing he'll do. Is it wise to leave this matter to him? I'm not leaving anything to him. He has his uses, that's all. Also, meet the Durandal, which is, like, a pretty good, like, bonkers anime ship design. Hey, also, yes, it's called the Durandal. Got it down to the core. Looks like a carcass of a beached whale. It's not much better up here. There's no sign of life at all. Just a bunch of egg scrap. Figures. It's like diving into shark infested waters with a big juicy steak. <laughs> I mean, Durandal has been circulating in specifically like JRPG design traditions for a long time. Like, there are Durandals all over Final Fantasy for the better part of a decade prior to this. Bingo! I found the remains of a Zohar security ring. I guess this is where they were storing it. Shelly, set the sequencing primer. Um. Roger, initiating primer walking. But Analyzing with the way that this wait. game in particular just if they're already out of magpies range, we Western mythology. Let's hope they're still hanging around nearby. Um. I can't believe you're hoping those things are still here. Aren't you scared, little master? There are plenty of things in this world scarier than the Gnosis. So, how is it? Have they already gone over to the other side? Just hold your horses there, little master. I'm in the middle of analyzing. What? What is it? Emergency alert! Looks like someone got here before us! It appears we're completely surrounded. And short jumps, <laughs> That's pretty damn clever. <laughs> Leela Durandal and Tycho, that is 
a hell of a set. Let's just do a backflip in a mech. That's a thing that makes sense. Also, the mech has quick draw dual pistols because, of course. My mech's bigger than your mech. My mech's bigger than yours. Uh, what should we do? <laughs> Duly noted, Dull. I mean, weird individualism is like the essence of Western society, so... Uh... Like, it's gonna show up in the media. Defending. Not really paying attention to this combat because I checked a guide last week and it said, by the way, this first encounter is really trivial. Um, and I think that is probably true. This is doing a bit more damage than I was expecting. Right, let's go. Still don't know what we use scrap iron for. That might be important once we actually get to uh, um, second Nelsia. organization destroying the evidence of the Federation of fleet that was wiped out by the Gnosis at the start of the game. This game audio looks like it's a little loud. Uh, let me know if that is not the case, but uh, I turn it down a little bit. walk animation doesn't quite line up with their movements. <sighs> I like these Utic stealth bomber looking ass ships. And that's a very good anime design. Momo was special because she's a 100 series prototype. All of these deck crew are 100 series. Also, obvious jokes here. And here, for that matter. 
Although, if your obvious joke looks like that, you should probably see a doctor. Hydration check. It'd be nice if we could just let him go. But we can't do that. We can't. Shelly, give him a little nudge. And when he says a little nudge, you know what that means. Set engines to ramming speed. Penetrate the port side and prepare for combat. That seems like a bad idea, even though this thing is shaped like a massive dagger. I feel like if prepare for combat meant prepare for boarding, that might be a little unnecessary. Just slightly. What are we going to do next? Our objective is the enemy mainframe. Ah, right, we need information. Terminals and counter any protective measures. Once inside, engage all hostiles. All hands move out. I don't know what to make of the fact that Mary is the one with the um well, shall we head for the bridge, little master? Ready? With the Texan accent, which I assume is like Let's Kansai Ben or something in the original the Japanese. Also, yes, the two like named deck characters. Hey Dot, thanks for coming by. Um What do we got? Oh, randomly, <laughs> yeah. Randomly, we have just a soldier in our party. Um, the the two like named characters alongside Junior in this section are Mary and Shelley. Because again, there's nothing this game won't magpie. Where the fuck am I going? Do I have to go through? Is that a door? Oh, there we are. That's a dead dude. I feel like something really ought to be venting atmosphere into space here. I like how they said this was a standard cruiser, but now I'm being told, well, the layout of this ship is unique, so we don't know where the friggin' um, bridge is. Oh my god, everything's destroyable. And here, Doll can't tell me off for destroying random quakes unnecessarily. Because it's an enemy ship, so we get to blow up the ship. Is there something up there? Oh no, it's just a weird shadow. Oh. Ah! That turned off the laser wall. I see. Presumably I need to go around here. And there'll be a thing to blow up. Whoops. <laughs> uh, I think for human type enemies, we do this. Um, also, this is just like unnecessary. Um, hey, we need to get information off the whole ship before we destroy it. Why do you fuckers have, like, hand-mounted rocket launchers? Scrunch. Back. Uh, right. 
So that will enable me to open up the switch. Presumably this one is also locked. And there's a path down into the right, I guess. <sighs> anyway. You know, like, I joke about this game being magpie-ish, and it is, but it could be worse. It could have leaned into its Nietzsche references instead, which would suck a lot, but actually it doesn't have very much to do with Nietzsche at all, really. Oh, surprise! I got no time for horses like you. Uh, they all appear to have the same armament, so I'm just going to... I think they have exactly 100 HP. Tadpoles, yes. <laughs> Did you think they were something else? Um, I put a great deal of effort into making sure... Um, that they were clearly tadpoles and not something else that might be a similar shape. Um, also, Doll, did you mean Gears, not Saga? Oh, fucking get off me! It's okay, I knew what you meant. Um, I don't really think Gears is all that Nietzsche either, to be honest. Um, I'm glad to hear it. When I initially drew the line art, I was like, that looks like sperm. I can't. I have to make sure that my channel points icon does not look like sperm. Sayonara, um, baby. But yeah, tadpoles. Good eating on a tadpole. Um, juicy. Kind of like eating, eating a gusher. Well, I imagine. To be honest, like I don't actually know what gushers are like because that's an American candy and I've never had it. But there, there are uh, UK equivalents. Um, is that interactable? No. That would be the door four button, I guess. It is mostly about philosophers, because unfortunately that's my adult life. I've given my entire adult life to academic philosophy, and the last couple of years it has spat in my face repeatedly, so this is how I vent. Um... If you recognise that Andrew Hussey is of the uh, same archetype as uh, oh, keycard slot, I presume he can't. Yeah, okay. Um, Andrew Hussey is of exactly the same stripe as the majority of uh, the exact kind of Western philosopher that I hate, then they're all about philosophers except the hydration check one, which is mostly about Doll, who I won't insult by calling a philosopher, even though I probably could build that case if I wanted to. Uh, can I rest here? No, okay. <laughs> that bed's a joke. Anyway, fuck philosophy. I wish I was doing anything else with my life. <laughs> you say that as if philosophers are not just bitches who talk a lot. Um, oh man, Zalter is... Wait, is Zalter the friggin' Stanford Encyclopedia of Philosophy guy? Am I remembering that right? Uh... 
Nice. Sorry, plants. I need these random items that I keep forgetting to use. Oh. oh. That presumably opened this door. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. Lord of the Rings in philosophy, huh? I have Final Fantasy in philosophy. Um, and I have periodically been in invited to contribute to or uh, review books from that series. I turn it down every time because they're awful. Um, I got to take them into the stream. It's a good thing you can go this week. He doesn't know where card three is. I mean, I did give that one 40 minute lecture about Hegel when we were talking about uh, Xeno Gears. Oh shit. God damn it. Should have blown the thing up first. Is it going to be the same fight? Oh no, it's one of those things. People really, really, really need to stop giving my philosophy credentials any weight. Philosophy credentials should not carry weight. It's like my, my most passionately held uh, philosophical opinion is that you should not ever respect anybody for having a doctorate in philosophy. <laughs> Uh, it's logic of abstract objects where you use some relational types. Oh, yeah, like. Philosophers will split uh, shit. Huh, will. Split hairs over that shit until you are absolutely sick of hearing about it. That's, like, literally the discipline. I mean, I have had some productive discussions with comp sci folks that I think would be impossible with most philosophy PhDs. Um, but they were people who'd done like comp sci and then also either had weird background stuff like being the descendant of Luddites. Um, which is a really interesting one. Um, somebody I, I did a bit of work with um, on some unsuccessful grant applications was a uh, yeah, comp sci through and through by training. But, oh my god, there's only one of these guys. This is mean. This is bullying. Oh, cool. That's interesting, Dark. Um, what the fuck? Ah, me and my big mouth. Um, I'm in this weird position where I am an expert teacher of introductory logic and I know almost nothing about, like, the, the serious theoretical side of it at all. Um... Yeah, but I think, like... The, the point, Doll, is that certainly, you know, so this person is... I'm not sure how much older than me they are, but, you know, a, a decade at least. Um, and certainly when I was growing up, Luddism meant... Um, pretty much exclusive. Like, people just weren't aware of this idea of... of the Luddites as um, uh, an anti-capitalist resistance group, which they absolutely were. You're right. Um, you know, they were they were people with a. You know, it's it's anachronistic to, to relate their views to Marxism, 
Um, because, of course, they predate Marx by 150 years or something. Oh, this sucks. Ow. Um, but they're, um, you know, they had a theoretical grounding that was substantive. Sayonara, baby. And that absolutely, if we were to file it into contemporary categories, we would have to file it with Marxism. Um, I really need to find a, a really good book on the Luddites. Um, oh, look, a segment address. Which one's this? Number 11. Don't I have the key for that? I do. What's in here? Um, but also, I still haven't finished reading the... Um, the very interesting book I got about the levelers in the English Civil War, which was brilliantly eye-opening about what the English Civil War was and what it was about. And I've stalled just before shit gets interesting um, at the point where, like, the king gets executed. Um, anybody here have healing magic? No. Uh, I don't need to mend the eggs yet. I think that's true as well, Dot. Yeah, like... Or certainly... I, I, I can't speak to, to differences, really, between uh, maths and logic. Math, maths and comp sci on this, because I don't know enough. Um, right, that door won't open without the keycard. Um, but certainly, like, logic in philosophy serves a very specific ideological purpose in terms of providing people like uh, good old Bertie Russell with the... Um, with the grounds to claim that they have something like a scientific methodology, right? You know, logical formulism is d developed in the early part of the 20th century um, for a bunch of reasons. But the reason that the logistical, the, the logic, logistic, cystic philosophers <laughs> um, get so into it is because they are really concerned that through the, the 19th century this thing called the scientific method is making what we would now call the humanities subjects obsolete um, and the fact that philosophy, you know, this attempt to base philosophy on the thing you make computers out of right after the second world war where um, you know computation, uh, mecha mechanized computation was um, incredibly important for um, like winning the war, like in code breaking and stuff, um, is really an attempt to like validate philosophy as not being the stereotype of philosophy of a bunch of like rich old men sitting around in fancy jackets, smoking and drinking. Um, ironically, of course, the people doing that were rich old men sitting around in fancy jackets, smoking and drinking. Like, Russell was an earl. Like, literally a titled aristocrat. Um, also, fun fact, in the UK, the tier of universities just below, like, Oxford and Cambridge, which is the equivalent of, like, the rest of the Ivy League in America, um, and includes the university I work for, is called the Russell Group. Um, it's not named directly for Bertrand Russell. Um... But it is named for the Russell family. That's the five door. I don't have a thing to open the five door either. Uh, oh, I do. Okay. Um, that I think takes us back to this earlier in the in the sequence in the area. Um, oh, hello. That's going to be breakable. Um, it's named for the Russell family because. Um, it takes its name from its first meeting, which happened in Russell Square in London. 
Uh, look at all these eggs. Can I sabotage them somehow? Um, it's. I mean, it's it's the British arist arist or aristocracy dot. It's uh, <laughs> it's all one system. Um, but yeah, so like, Bertie Russell was the scion of a minor branch of the Russell family who own Russell Square and the... I think it's the Russell Hotel on Russell Square in London. And in the early 90s, um, there was kind of post Thatcherite consternation about how universities were going to be funded. Um, because there was a government policy that expanded the university system. Um, you know, it was a way that, you know, it was supposed to solve the, like, um, the changes in the economy post-industrialization in the UK. Hydration check. Um, because Thatcher kind of destroys all the, all the, like, actual industry in the country. Um, those are the wrong skills, but it probably doesn't matter. Yes, good. Um... It actually destroys all the actual like secondary industry that the country had been chugging along on um, through to the end of the 70s. Um, and then there needs to be something for everyone to do. And the idea is we'll upskill the workforce by sending more people to university. So they turn a bunch of old, um, what were called polytechnic universities, like kind of technical colleges, um, into quote unquote universities. And. Um, there's a question of how this is going to be funded because university places um, are like more expensive to administer and also are at this time still grant funded. Um, so what happens is that there's no individual level funding of um, university studying at all for undergraduates. The government gives the university a grant covering however many places and um, you know you if you apply to a university and you're successful um, you go and you don't have to pay anything um, and because this is still a conservative government they don't want to expand that funding that block grant system um, and various plans are mooted for uh, how this is going to be done and it is the Russell Group, uh, this group of fairly prestigious universities, um, that I forget whether they come up with the suggestion or they're just the main backer of the suggestion. Um, what the fuck are these? Are these mech parts, I guess? Um, that becomes the actual current funding model or the not really the current funding model but the funding model that um so it was coming in as i was going to university in the in the mid noughties um and that i just missed the worst of that but my sister got um wait number three key card i think it's the three card i need um i might have forgotten i'll be honest um and so the reason that Britain has a growing student debt problem that is eventually going to turn into the American student debt problem. Uh oh. There's a robot. Oh, did it? I missed that. Thanks for catching that, Lexi. Um. Um, but yeah, like the, the, basically the Russell Group, which shares its name with old old Bertie, um, is the reason that, um, <laughs> crap, I am not a crab, but I feel a certain kinship with crabs on account of being a, a, a an exoskeleton having um, 
critter what lives in the water. Um, I've been this way. Who's this? I have been this way, but I should save again. Because boss fights in this can be really long and really hard, and uh, I don't have good healing options at all, so. Destroy all this shit again, because why not? That's the three door. I need to go in here. Let's start at the three console. So that's my run about higher education in the UK. Um, and it's one of those things where technically it is a coincidence. If you, if you wanted like a formal definition of a coincidence, it is a coincidence that the group of universities that gave itself the same name as, you know, that, that, that did all this shit, gave itself the same name um, as the uh, public intellectual most directly responsible for how much uh, 20th century intellectual culture sh sucks. But also, on a deeper level, it's not a coincidence because those are ideological, ideologically the same system. Um, I'll give you one free academic drama, Redeem. Fuck Bertrand Russell. Um... Arrived at the bridge. Which has been completely abandoned. We came for the mainframe. I assume this thing is glowing because it's important. What's going to be in here? <sighs> Routing cutscene of two figures staring at a screen. Relatable. Junior, why did you touch that? I presume that you're going to fight this boss, Mary. Yeah, like... Oh, Jesus. Can I bring in Junior's eggs? Do you have ether ability now? What? Uh, dandyism. Junior's so good. Uh, I don't know what any of that means. Um, I do want to be a bit careful here because I don't want to put myself in a situation where they're all in eggs. Um, straight away. So I think I might do that. Uh, do you have... You don't have any W Act, which makes sense because you're just a scrub. Uh, we should be using these moves. Why is it Mecha with a crotch gun? Booster output down. Counter boost 50%. What does that mean? Uh, do you have... You don't have any W Act. Okay. We're having that problem where the game um, really does the emulator really doesn't like cockpit locations again. Can you frame repair? 
No. Oh, that's right. You can't frame repair in battle. God damn. Um, let's see what Junior's S moves are like. That was not worth it to give this guy a boost. Oh, Jesus. This is a little horrific. Um... Right, so I think that means... God, I don't know what to do. Uh, anything to do would be to heal Junior so the poor boy doesn't die. Federation check. Uh, I think we just keep pounding this thing. Um... Junior, Junior, what are we going to do with you? I'm going to bring in his eggs and see if that makes a difference. Oh, the lag! My goodness. Sorry the emulator is having such a hard time. Um, who's this? I want to see if she gets more options if she has a full AP bar. Um, this is right. You also don't have any W act. Interesting. Um, Maybe we're through the worst of it? Um... Okay, no. She doesn't have any special moves. Cool. And the... Uh, the rando soldier who's with us survived, which is nice. Presumably now we will go back to the regular plot. Maybe. If it loads. We've hacked into the enemy mainframe. Okay, so now what? Shall I copy or transmit it? They've already entered the manual override code. The partitions are being deleted. Hurry up and start your transmission. Roger. You just clear your head out and wait for me. Plugs enemy mainframe directly into own brain with handy Cat5 cable Inside. lying around. Being able to interlink with your sister has got real convenient. I wouldn't say that. She has so many random thoughts. I can't help it. We're humans, not realians. You can telepathically talk to the Kaiser, right, little master? That sounds a lot more I fucking me. forgot that there was a character they occasionally you. referred to in not these really. games as the Kaiser. Constantly make sure I watch what I'm thinking. Also, yes, he does have 666 tattooed on his palm. The whole thing's just as tiring as hell. It'd be easier just to write him a letter. Oh, I didn't know it was like that. Yep, that's how it is. I'm pretty sure it's 666. You okay, Mary? Yeah, I'm alright, but look 
Look what you did! Oh. I'm sorry to say that all data from the enemy mainframe has been lost. Oh. Oops. Rip. It's because of all those cheesy action flicks you keep on watching. Too much John Woo. They've launched a lifeboat. Shall we pursue? Nah, no need to pursue them that far. We just need to know where they're headed. Place a trace request with the UMN Administration Bureau. Let's head back. Hurry up with the retrieval preparations on board the I'm Durandal. I'm pretty All sure it's 666 request. because any evidence behind. that shot was specifically composed to show off the hand a particular way up. how much his personality changes when he's holding a gun. A lust for conquest and absolute power. And the desire to have a really big gun. I suppose that'd be the standard explanation. <laughs> you don't hold back, do you, Shelly? Although, in Little Master's case, it's probably just a Yes, yes, life. let's get all the jokes out of the way at once. <laughs> probably, but I think Little Master's plenty attractive just the way he is. <laughs> True. Mary, we'll be leaving in two minutes. Hurry back, okay? I don't know what to make of this scene, honestly. What the fuck? It's a shame. Little Master doesn't have any choice in the matter but to stay that size. I guess it allows them to say that, like, cryptic bullshit thing. <laughs> I love this game, but it's weird as shit sometimes. Anyway, we've arrived somewhere where they can build something that fucking big in space. Um, this is the Elsa, which, if you're behind on streams, is the ship that Shion and Cosmos end ended up on after the Gnosis att attack on the Federation fleet at the start of the game. Um, oh, I thought Commander Cherenkov was here with you. What's the matter? Well, he skipped dinner again, so I've been looking for him. Did you check outside? He mentioned something about finding a charter flight. Wait a minute. Wearing that uniform? Yeah. Oh, that's bad. Mm -hmm. This area was abandoned by the government and never properly restored after the war. The people here haven't forgotten how violent the military was, though. It's no place for a soldier to be wandering around. Cherenko's gonna get Is beaten it really up. Dangerous here? Well, it's fine if you're a civilian. Oh, are we having a flashback? Sometimes the flashback scenes don't load. Oh no, it's just cutting away. There we go. Fuck you, Cherenkov. <sighs> well, in that case, we better go find him before anything happens. Yeah, you're right. I'll go get Ziggy. He'll probably come in handy at a time like this. All right. I'll go with Alan, then. He doesn't look very useful, though. <laughs> Keep dunking on Alan. <sighs> Come on, emulator. Okay. There's an email for Shion. Uh, Intelligence Bureau investigations confirm that Gnosis with stronger battle capabilities will appear. To counter this, you've been pushed through the Seal and Cosmos Battle Technique program. She's got a new tech attack. R drill. Okay. Sure, why not? Conclusion of the inference between rates was that Cosmos' original battle capabilities need against average Gnosis battle capabilities. 
being more difficult to handle the appearance of gnosis with higher battle capabilities. But the most powerful gnosis realized this and devised some sort of scheme. This will require proper handling. Remember the tech attack R drill that you got permission to use if you set in a slot in order to use it. Okay. Just what I want, checking my email in a video game. Uh, I can't faff around at all because she's not in the party. So they give you that email and then you can't actually do anything about it until after this segment of play, at which time you will have forgotten. If you happen to remember, please remind me that I need to fiddle with Cosmos' build a bit. Uh, that's the bridge. Where would Ziggy be? That's the exit to the airlock. Don't go that way. Oh, I can EVS now. Um, EVS is also. Also, right. So this is the thing where you can. Um, simulate going back to other locations in the game. Uh, so there's a thing I want to check. Where is it? Uh, segment file. Yeah, where was 10? Right, yes, that's right. It's in the tutorial level. Customer simulator inside building first floor. What's this? Oh, that's a shop. Let's see how this goes. No. Uh, wait, I can't remember how to do this. Okay, I can't remember how to do that. We'll come back later. Uh, where am I going? I need to find Ziggy. Ziggy's room is on the lower deck somewhere. Because there was a whole cutscene about how we were going to turn one of the friggin' corridors into Ziggy's room. Um... This way. I think what I need to get there. That last time was come through here. And then. Heck was it? Oh, that's right around here. Hey, Ziggy. Hey, bud. So Ziggy's gonna come help us find the Colonel. Um, I'm gonna keep saving because I'm paranoid after the nonsense we had in the first stream. Um, and also because this emulation solution is a little bit suspect at times. Oh man, I'm suddenly very yawny. Apologies if my yawns are making anybody else yawn.
Oh, I didn't need to do that. I saw a glowing thing and I pressed it. Good enough. We go back here. Up to the first floor and then out to the airlock, which I almost walked out of before, which I shouldn't do that. I'm assuming we're going to get out to the dock and go looking for the commander and he's going to be beating the crap out of some people with hardly a scratch on him, but uh, I can't actually remember. One way or another it's going to get us into some form of trouble. Lamau Allen. Okay, start looking at the commander. She said, Look for him, I'll let you know since I find him. I like how Shion, Chaos, and Ziggy are all going together, and then what's his face is just off on his own. Also, it's a very good PS2 giant, giant interior space, this. Uh, oh, it was onto Realian Nursery. Interesting. That's a, oh, that's a dock clinic. I read it as something else. He lost a tool called a fish detector or something. Who said he pressed? I think I need to find the fish detector. We're getting into the start of area where there is... Uh, whoops. Um... Side quests. And not much that I can blow up. What's down here? Oops. That coat looks like Margulis's coat. That's a little worrying. Hydration check. Whoa. Oh, he's getting beaten up. Jolly good. Fuck you, Cherenkov. <laughs> Ironically, he's not being beaten up for the thing that he actually deserves to be beaten up for. People think he's with the military. Scum. Oh, that doesn't look good. What's your deal, bud? I'm going to check what's in here. These look like shops. Planet disappearance incident. Let's pretend I haven't. Oh, it's a different planet. A planet called Ariadne. Oh, this is what uh, Junior was investigating, I guess, at the start. They mentioned Ariadne. The Federation government still doesn't know the cause of it. The people disappeared, but the planet's still missing too. Something that's the work of Gnosis. In any case, it's a terrible incident. Yeah, it would be pretty bad if a fucking planet just up and disappeared. Uh, what the fuck is that? Imagine putting that in an environment and not making it interactable. Video games in 2002. <sighs> right.
Neurostim, Psych State is clear. Let's have a couple of those. Um, okay, for stuff. Um, that's pretty cheap. It's a pretty good video game font, yeah, with that M. Um, stylish armor. Reinforced clothing that auto-adjusts to people's body shape. Oh, we better have that. Um, that's a Cosmos item, uh, which I probably will want, but at some later stage. Uh, what have we got? Um, it's 420 money. Nice. Then... Eggs weapons. I'll be honest, I don't really know how to think about these questions. Um. Hey, girl, how's it going? Um. Yeah, my project for this year is to get through, like, the whole of Xenosaga in a year. Um. So these are going to be slightly longer streams than I normally do. Um. What have we got? Because um, I need to hit an average of about three hours a week to be sure of everything and to allow myself some time to get things wrong and reset things. Uh, I love the detail on this shop though. like Just to have the, the random assortment of weapons. Like this thing standing up in the corner is clearly an eggs like beam rifle of some sort. It's really good. Um, yeah, it's something I've always wanted to do. And... Um, Aha! Do I have... The, I don't have number two card. Cool. What's your deal, lady? Lady? Jank. Yeah, there's lots of... Like, it, it's an RPG. There's, there's like, pots and stuff that you can blow up. <laughs> Except they're all, like, wall-mounted cyber units of various kinds. Um... It's kind of right at the start of this becoming a thing in RPGs that, like, everything's got to have loads of random objects in the environment that you can poke. Um, which obviously peaks with Blue Dragon, where every single object in the environment can be poked. Um, and you... Um, I've watched Let's Plays. I've never actually played them myself. And I've always wanted to, because... I really like them from the Let's Plays. <laughs> Immersive. Can I destroy that? No. Sure, just uh, give away Shion's uh, height and weight. I 
I feel like there's a bunch of stuff to do here that I'm probably not going to end up doing because, like, time. But we'd better go and rescue the friggin' captain, even though he's a traitor working for the evil Utic Corporation. Sorry, organization. This game has so much going on. Um... And also, yeah, the robot girl is good and also gay. Um, and you get spaceships and big spaces that shape the spaceships park in. Um, It's really interesting. Like, like, I was talking about this on an earlier stream. This game came out like around the same time as FF10. And it's really interesting how similar its approach to some of the big JRPG design problems is. And yet how different the overall result was. Um, and also like where the Final Fantasy games of this period, you know, 10 and 12 rely on putting you in a male character looking at a female protagonist. In this, you just get to play as the girl. Um, which, that's also good. Um, where's Chaos? Also, this is a little alarming. Xi'an, we must get these people to a hospital at once. They're still alive, but barely hanging on. Huh? I'll, I'll go call an ambulance. <laughs> ah, there's chaos. This is terrible. Where's Commander Cherenkov? I'm detecting a faint heat signature heading toward the dock. It most likely belongs to the Hydration check. Commander. I think these games are great, honestly. Like I, I really enjoy it. Like I wasn't sure I was going to um enjoy playing them as much as I enjoy the story, That's but enough. honestly but, Commander. I'm getting on with it okay. Are you okay? Yeah. Um, what happened? Shion, I, I think some uh, street punks, but they started fighting amongst each other, so I ran away during the commotion. Like you got cornered. The art style gets more quote unquote realistic as the series goes on. It, it's um, all right. It's really not that bad. And I think the the slightly That's more stylized I've been trying to treat his version here happened. works better. But also, some of the it's outfits just, in the third game are incredible, and I really like Shion's outfit in the third game. Not just the bikini, game? although the no, third game that, does... That's uh, not what I mean. Um, Momo, I need your help over here. Does find the excuse to put her in a bikini, um, like, at the start okay. of the game. Systems are working within their normal parameters. I'm behind on my regular maintenance. This body's getting pretty old. Not at all. But you know, you may be better off if Shion were to look you over. It's also cool to be playing like a female Maybe character who is funny. genuinely but even with a body like this, I still feel uncomfortable about like young an woman expert at something. Like the whole but the whole early phase of the game is about establishing that, like, Shion, whatever else they do with her character, is a, a, a like, leading expert roboticist. But you're all right with me because I'm not human? That's not what I meant. It's just that I feel comfortable around you, but that's probably because... because of the purity of your heart. Poor Momo. 
and not because I see you as an object. Thank you. I'm so glad. Momo is also a good oh, robot yeah, girl. Or, I mean, huh? they call them realians, uh, and I no, think the idea uh, with realians is that it's, like it's nothing. they're biological constructs rather than mechanical ones. I wonder if the commander's really all right. He's been acting strangely ever since we boarded the Elsa. Nothing is all right with that man, Shion, but you don't know the half of it yet. Um, but like the Realians definitely have like code features and can be controlled in a way that's very robot-like, but they bleed and stuff when they're injured. Oh yeah, he was almost, like, murdered by a Gnosis. That's also a thing that happened. And that symbol was on the Zohar. Right then. What do I do now? I need to... Oh, there's an email for Xion. A new map has been added to the EVS, the Utic Battleship. I don't think I've got the key for the Utic Battleship yet, though. And I can't remember how to activate the damn thing, so... It's all a bit moot. I'm not actually sure this way is quicker than the other way. It might be. There's two routes from that room to where I want to get to. And neither of them makes a lot of sense. I'm not sure the internal space of the Elsa actually adds up. Um, hmm. God, I'm sleepy. Also, I've been having uh... also I've been having an end of this sentence that is now abdicated um, I was going to say a thing and I can't remember what it was oh dear I have almost finished all my marking for this uh, season's assessment I've got one essay left to do and a student possibly submitting an essay tomorrow. Um, let's go. Um, I logged in to mark something today and the relevant terms in section was unavailable due to some sort of glitch. That just meant that I got on with the other bit instead. I've been eating candy to get me through the marking, and that has uh, ended poorly because it turns out that I can't just scarf candy the uh, way that I used to be able to. Um, is he going to turn into a gnosis? Or 
I'll just fade away. Rip. Once the marking's out of the way, like, the, this semester is pretty low workload for me, so I'm hoping I can, like, really crack on with stream stuff, get some more live 2D animating done. Um, finish the recording as I'm working on. I have too many projects. I like having lots of projects. They're good projects. I like them. I'm enjoying them. But it's a lot of stuff to balance. And I still haven't finished Tales of Arise. Sorry that uh, these cutscenes don't load. I can't run the emulator in the rendering mode that actually renders these cutscenes. Um, <laughs> I mean, thank you, girl. It's like keeping up with it is maybe generous. They move slowly. Um, and yeah, I haven't touched Hazel Eyes in like two months now. I should really get back to it, but I kind of feel like I need to restart it because I forgot how to play it, but I don't want to do that because I'm long enough in that that's a chore. Um, and uh, good luck on the teaching, Dot. Like, the the prep is real. Is it stuff you is it stuff you've taught before at all? Sorry for the flashing. Apparently there are storms in hyperspace. force is affecting the ship from outside hyperspace. What does that mean? Something is trying to come into contact with the ship. If this persists, We're being intercepted. We out of What's this? I sense... Oh, she can sense the gnosis. Huh? What? Oh, yes. Thank you. Christmas build. She got arm drill. That's a fucking lot of gnosis. Including maybe one. As big as a planet. <laughs> Diagnosis gnosis. fucking remember this part. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I dread the thought of trying to teach in a second language. Um, good luck with that. I know several people who've done it. Like, I know a bunch of people who either are or have taught in Germany. And I can't imagine ever being effective enough in a language, in a second language, to teach in it. I'm glad we're all okay. Chaos. Where are we? I'm not sure. I remember we were all engulfed by this light, and 
It's goopy biological level. Look at those textures. We're inside a gnosis. Inside a gnosis? Huh? To be more specific, we are located at the approximate center of a giant gnosis. This gnosis is nearly 16,000 kilometers in diameter. Oh, uh, somebody Wikipedia for me the diameter of the Earth, please. The size on record is the one named Cathedral Shift. Does that mean we were eaten? That may not be far from the truth. I don't sense any activity from the gnosis outside. Ah, okay. It's almost as if they're sleeping. What's your hey, first language, what Doc? About the Elsa? Where's the captain and everyone else? Hopefully they too are alive and in here somewhere. Thank you. So, 6,371. Oh, yes, sorry, we talked about this before, um, haven't we? German speaking. Yes, and something else. Yeah, so this thing is 30% is is larger than the Earth. The Zohar that was taken from the Woglinde. The Zohar? You mean that gold colored object that. Oh, is this. That's right, this is where the real Zohar is, not the emulator. Approximately 10 kilometers from our current position. Not too far. Stay here or find the Elsa. I'm worried about Alan and the others. 10 kilometers of goop level. No choice. And also maybe finding the Zohar. He's going to find the Zohar because presumably he's what's calling it. Yep. This can't be real. Am I dreaming? Stop touching it. It's not possible. Ariadne vanished when the Zohar went out of control. Where's this? Sorry, Ariadne. It can't be. I thought this was Milsha. Which we've seen in uh, flashbacks before. Freestanding door, always a good image. Also, the bassoon on the soundtrack is great. That's Milsha during the Milsha incident. Um, I sort of recognize all these scenes and understand what's going on. I don't think I could explain it. Um, Warning alert in section D. Distorted wave patterns detected in the quarantine hangar. Sector D? Is it the Zohar? Raising a trapped inhibitor output in all Sector D compartments. UMN traffic detected across EPR radar. Something's beaming resonant waves through hyperspace. Where is it? Searching for signal source. Okay, now I have no it's idea what's going on. With whatever's out there. Prepare to gate jump. Mary, alert the Foundation. We're gonna follow it. Roger. Let's go. Okay. It's goop ship time. Fortunately, the goop still blows up. Cosmos is built. Uh, uh, equip. I can't fucking remember. Is it in tech attacks? Oh, it might be in skills, actually. 
Uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um. I'm going to forget to actually use that or what difference it makes, but what the heck. Um. How many tech points does she actually have? We've got 200 tech points. Um. Ah. game has that problem that there are too many different ways that characters can level. Uh, spell Ray. Uh, Shion doesn't have many tech points to spend. What about skills? Oh, right, that's. Skills is something else. Uh, what about ether points? Okay, so they, those haven't carried over. Battle formation. Um. Hmm. Note, by the way, that like I still have all the damage and um, MP use carried over from the last time that these characters were fighting. Um, wait, no. Oh, and the last thing I need to do is equip some of that shit I bought. Nightwalker prevents sleep. That would be a good one to have. Um, equip. It's a slight upgrade. Stylish armor. Green ring, fist F2. Prevents heat attack down. It's fine. Cosmos. That's worse. No data on that. Didn't I? Oh, no, I didn't buy the D unit V1, did I? V3 thing. Anyway. Let's go back to the save point and use the tent. Or, as they're known here, biospheres. Anything else can blow up around here? I like that they added the occasional drips flowing from the roof. That's fun. That's a good way to make the level goopy. Uh, I think against Gnosis we want to use ether attacks. Uh, uh, oh, nice. Um, why haven't these guys acted yet? That's a bit worrying. This is chaos. Okay, there we go. Uh, 
What did I set? I forgot what I sell the drill to. Oh, Jesus. That's why they didn't act. Ow. <laughs> Congratulations, doll. I've got to say, it has probably done me an enormous amount of good over the last two years to just periodically get those. Like... Probably not most days, but at this point, I would guess three days a week on average. Just, oh, someone read your story and liked it. Um, fucking ow. Um, and I'm about to embark on... This is just a dead end. What the hell? Uh, a new, pretty long fanfic project. Yeah, like, it, it's not always the same stories. Um, it's very much a... Um, a an open net fishing process. <laughs> Some kudos are, are like, st stand out more than others. There's an enemy over there. What about this way? Nice about it. Um, but I am happy to help by bullying you into doing more writing if uh, if you want okay. the prompt. Here we go. Um, um, yeah, I have a few. <laughs> I have a few stories that have had very little attention from anybody ever. Um, this move is mean and rude. I mean, I mean, I meant prompts to action, not prompts to like write more stories. Um, I would never curse a fellow writer with more ideas. Uh, what am I going to do? Lunar Seal, apparently. That sounds good. Ready? Lunar seal. Um, I set a new move for Shion. Was it to... Yes. But yeah, I'm in the uh, I'm in the outlining stage on a new long-running fanfic project that is probably going to take me most of the year to execute, um, and I still haven't quite figured out what format um, I want all the information in my outline to be in. Is the problem? Um, because it's a racing AU, kind of AU, arguably AU, um, and I want to write like the story of an entire, effectively like an entire racing motorsport world championship. Um, but to do that, I need to actually like work out all the results that the different races have so that I can get the, the championship result to work out how I want it to. Um, and so I've just been modeling this maths like four different ways late at night when I go cross-eyed over looking at big grids of numbers. So this is a cathedral ship. It does feel like we're inside a ship, but it certainly doesn't look like anything that belongs to the Federation. Could it be an alien ship? I wonder. The maths is now mostly Over done, there. but it's giving me a good skeleton to build other stuff on. What is it? A sign or something? Hey, it's written in English. But this is odd. It doesn't look like it's stuck on the wall. Doesn't it look more like a part of the wall itself? 
It's got goop floating over it, you mean. saying the sign is part of the Gnosis? How could that be? Take a look around. That's not the only one. There's a lot of other... <laughs> the fish <laughs> just saying why. That looks like such a meme, the fish just really saying why. Okay, I'm adding what? Bully Doll about okay. turning outlines into writing to my daily to-do list. Uh, no, uh, no, it, it's, it's nothing. Right after Bully Carly about foam rollering that herself. Again. What does she have to do with this place? At this time, the defendant's origins are unknown. That information was lost in the chaos of war, perhaps deliberately, I might add. It could be said that the circumstances <laughs> surrounding the defendant... I've given up trying to bully you because I can't stop you doing law. anything. Therefore, is it right for him to Miss. be the first victim of a capital punishment system that had been abandoned for thousands Miss. of years? Miss, I'm going to keep doing the, uh, that the defendant must pay for his crime. false shepherd Mass Effect playthrough. With all the progress we've made in science and the study of the human psyche, Surely there must be alternative means by which he can repay society? Please, I ask you to make a merciful and wise decision. Okay, so this is Cherenkov's past, this I guess. This hereby sentences the defendant, Andrew Cherenkov, to undergo level 7 personality reconditioning. With this ruling, the current you will cease to exist. But it also marks the birth of a brand new world for you. So in addition to all the stuff about can robots be people, this game also has uh, ID shit around like wiping people's memories and whether they continue to be the same people. What is the meaning of this? Why can't we have a child of our own? Oh, stop it. What could you want to leave behind? Don't tell me you want that abnormal DNA of yours to live on. Nanotechnology is hardly perfect, you know. It still can't correct mutations in genomes. Are you saying this is my fault? <laughs> You're pathetic. A bit of nucleic acid desperately clinging to life. So are you, Eddie. changed one bit since then. But of course, that's what makes you, you. But then... Why did you marry me? So she was the lawyer that was defending him in his uh, trial. You know how hard I worked for this permit? And the impression That's I remember I getting. To care for you? What? Did you think there was love between us? Please, don't kid yourself. I can get all the love I need with this. <clears throat> I can get all the need I love I need with this. And throws it at him. Meds. After all. I'm the one who'll be held responsible if you don't. This, by the way, is not modeling good BDSM relationship dynamics. Oh, did he murder her? Was this part of the, uh... with Federation law, the defendant will now undergo level 8 personality reconditioning. With this, defendant 12584's human rights shall be revoked, and henceforth the defendant shall be treated as a life form belonging to the Federation. According to current law, this treatment grants the bearer the same rights and privileges as those of a realian. Oh, and it's different sigils. Interesting. And it's her again. This is... So this is current events. Yeah, like, it's a trope. I've seen it done elsewhere. It's a little bit... Like, this shows up in Minority Report, I think. Where criminals get put into stasis. Um... 
and like and oh Jesus that's unsettling actually sorry about that one um, I must admit I've never seen such a stubborn neural network he's even rejected the level 8 procedure in any case he's still quite valuable to us we can use him as a test subject for the level 9 procedure wasn't he already subject to the level 9 procedure But I guess the impression we're supposed to be getting from this is like somewhere deep in Cherenkov is a fucking Jack Noir level instinct to just fucking murder everything. Um, that can't be overcome with any degree of personality reconditioning. So you're the man who murdered every worker in this facility and annihilated three squads of Federation special forces. Which is an interesting origin forward. story for a military officer who goes on to be a traitor but to an you. evil cult. You look like a poor little stray. Is Hydration this check. Really, your handiwork. Several cutscenes will play in sequence. <laughs> hmm. Anime zoop. Recycling variant. No wonder the Federation police couldn't handle you. I'll commend you for that. However... Bonk. <laughs> Reality is cruel, is it not? Commander Margulis, the 308th Volgata Division is... I know. We're taking him with us. Sir, you're not serious. Yes, this one may be useful. I have no idea what the timeline's supposed to be, or how like how long ago this was. All you ever wanted in life was to leave behind a legacy. Isn't that right? Now show me the proof of your existence. To me alone. If this game came out today, there'd be like a whole bunch of fanfic of those two, and it would all be like somewhat unsettling. This fucking area design is so good, though. Is that it? It's shaped like a car. So basically, the Gnosis swallowed this planet and turned it into... Uh... Oh, that's interesting. I'm going to get my ass kicked here. Oh, there's only one. That's fine. Uh... Yeah, I'll say, like... I'll say this for Xenosaga. It is more committed to absurdity of scale than I think any other JRPG I have ever played. Um... It's just fucking wild, this shit. Stuff that's going to happen even by the end of this game that will get made to seem small um, by um, by the end of the trilogy is so good. As somebody who really likes just the fact that video games mean you can make shit that's really big this game's a treat. Uh, which fucking buttons is the drill on? I think it might be... Nope, it's not those. Must be square triangle. Yeah, like it... It, <laughs> it has Takahashi Syndrome, where they only ever made about a third of what he originally dreamed up. Um... Oh, what? He and, um... Whoa! Fuck off. Uh, what he and Saga dreamed up.
Right. How much killing do these things take? More than that. Oh, this is going to be annoying. Ugh. And that's not enough to kill it either. Yikes. Stop missing. Uh-oh. Please don't put the robot to sleep. God damn. Okay, she unresisted. The fuck? Yeah, the field effect thing is, like, an incredibly of-this-time thing for a game to do. Like, this weird transitional period that starts around the PS2 and really kind of peaks. Um, on, uh, in the kind of PS3, Xbox 360 period, where nobody quite knows what they want a JRPG to do now that it can't just be a, what we would now regard as an RPG maker game. Um, and there's this massive ambition to add more cinematic elements and kind of action gamey elements to it. Um, I wanted to try square triangle. There's the drill. Um... And, like, it manifests in a bunch of ways in this game. There's a lot of, like, vaguely action set PC things. That did a lot of damage. I'm going to keep using that that ability. Um, but, like, the... You know, there's a lot of, like, run around to dodge enemies and activate this field effect and... Um, Here's a here's a cutscene that's just thrown in to make it look like an actual action set piece. Uh, this sucks. Um, oh, they do have another attack. That looks like it probably inflicts a status that I don't want to have. Um. I think with Xion, I should probably stick to all ether attacks, actually. Although that fucking giant knife that sticks out of her weapon is very funny. Um. Yeah, there's been a real... Partly because so many of these experiments played so weird. Um, and like... For every game like this where it's kind of charming, there's an Eternal Sonata where it is just endlessly awful and intolerable. Um, there was a real push to kind of reinvigorate nostalgia around particularly the SNES games. Um, and honestly, it drives me a little bit up the wall. Um, this is why I give FF6 and Chrono Trigger fans so much shtick. Um, well, why don't you fuckers die, please? Why do you have so much help? There we go. Cosmos, of course, can be relied on to do lots of damage to Gnosis. Um, but also, like, I think... It's not really that RPGs like this have fallen out of fashion. It's that they're a transitional phase in a design tradition. And now we just have, like, Japanese action RPGs. Um... Oh, 
might leave Shion a bit vulnerable, but it should be fine. I should be using Momo to heal with. Whoa, I get no, god damn it. You little shits are really annoying. May you be reborn again anew. Uh Like this combo system is quite annoying to play with, honestly. It's a cool idea, but it results in so much more so many more attack actions overall. I think it's you know, really what we're talking about is as the games industry like really properly became global. Um, what do you mean by heady? Um... I think this this has more depth than Gears does, but it's the same kind of problem, ultimately. Um, please be enough to kill. Hey, good. Um... Yeah, like very much so. You gotta, you gotta remember so much more about the characters, which is not well served by only playing it once a week. Um, and it was like it was a real push to just get away f from. Stop zapping me, you brats. Um. It was a real push to get away from select moves from a menu, basically. Um, and, you know, on the one hand, cool. Resulted in some interesting stuff. But also, selecting moves from a menu is a really efficient, simple way of doing what RPGs do. Um, and sometimes it's okay to just do the simple, efficient thing. Um. Now I should heal Shion Is properly. Everyone okay? Yeah, when you have four different kinds of XP in a game, things have maybe gone a little bit far. Um. I was going this way. I was expecting this to be a side path, and it's not a side path. God damn. Let's go and see what's up the actual side path that looked like it was straight on. There's a chest. It's also another one of these flying fuckers. Oh. Target locked on. Oh my god, there's five of them. This is bad. This is going to suck a lot. Uh... I don't have anything resembling a good AoE option. Please don't put me to sleep. Good. I did pick up a sleep resistance option uh, accessory. I should maybe equip that. Um, Christmas has exactly 420 health. Oh, she has the accessory. Did I actually put that on her? Cool. Uh, right. Well done, eat from an hour and a half ago. Right. 
This is a little bit of a waste of damage, but I really need to thin their numbers. Leave me alone. Oh, shit. This is bad. I need that Cosmos turn. Last time, sleep didn't um, last very long, but they could genuinely kill Shion here. Fuck me. Someone rolled high on the initiative. Oh my god, they're going to kill Shion. This is bad. Please let me take a turn. I don't want to die here. Uh, this is Shion. Okay. Um, now Cosmos gets a turn. That's still here at healing for bugger all, though. Um... This should be enough to take it out. Yeah, okay. Right. Um... There's now only three left. Oh, that's a heal all. I shall have that. Uh, R drill. It's just the letter R. Um... Like, all her moves are like, are ah, something. Yeah. Also, I just realized that when uh, Chaos does his ether attack, he literally just lifts his fist and it fires at the enemies. Don't put Cosmos to sleep again. Fuck. Ah. Oh, I have a boost. I can boost Shion. To get a heal on. Uh, if I remember the buttons. Boost Shion. Uh, make absolutely sure we take this guy out. Also, fuck, Shion is running low on, M on uh, MP. I complain a lot about how many animations there, there are, but at least all the animations are really fucking good. Like, I don't actually know if this game was mo-capped, but, like, whatever work was done was good work. Stop bullying Shion! My fucking god. Uh, Christmas taking longer to wake up this time. Uh, Jesus Christ, why are you still not dead? Um... Yeah. 
This is not really the optimal way to use boosts, but... Okay, so that's another one. Nice. Come on! Please let this be enough to take this one out. He's going to miss again. <laughs> At least enemies can occasionally miss as well. Okay, finally. Uh, look, he just fucking, like, points his fist at the enemies. And it acts like a gunshot. Very good video game nonsense. Oh my god. Who would have thought one of Miyuki's inventions would come in handy? Oh, that fight was a lot. There better be something good in this chest. Uh, fireproof accessory. I'm not sure that qualifies, but equally there is this cool view of what is obviously, like, the place where the commander is. Oops. I'm wondering if I should walk back and save, honestly. Probably if I do this, there'll be a save point immediately in the next area, but some of these encounters are a little bit fierce, and I don't want to have to do all of this again, because that would suck. Um, so excuse me while I do a little bit of running. Oh shit. Let's go. I have a horrifying suspicion that all the enemies in the other area will have now respawned. I thought the safe point was in the same area. I might have made a horrific mistake. Oh, he fires both his fists, actually. That was the wrong move. Oh, God. At least that didn't cost me very much. Let's heal up and go back. So if the enemies in this area have respawned, then it is not a good idea for me to try to get back to the save point. Sigh. Can I juke this one? Can't actually remember what the button is. It's not that, obviously. Yeah. 
Get away from me. The hell did I hang up on that? Okay. One duke. I don't know how lucky I'll be here. Which one did I get? Cool, that slowed them down. That makes this easier. I should probably transfer the sleep proof accessory to Cosmos. Um. I tend to prefer those on my healers, but Cosmos just does so much more damage, and the numbers game is so important here. I suppose one advantage of the combats being so long is that it really does make sense to, like, you know, it, it makes it advantageous to make it so that people think about the possibility of dodging enemies or of setting up advantageous encounters. Um, right. Okay. It's putting Cosmos to sleep again. Why does it never try to put Chaos to sleep? Why is it always Cosmos? And who's going to get to go next? I think I should probably do is go through all the things I can spend on Cosmos and see if I can't speed her up a bit because she's very slow relative to the other two. Even without constantly being put to sleep. At least they dropped plenty of ether packs. Ah! So I think... Oh, it saw me. Damn. Your orders, Xi'an. Please don't do the attack all. The attack all's really fuck you. God damn it. I like the design on these guys, at least. The, like bug eyes sticking out to the sides. Oh, nice. Always fun to crit on the uh, high damage move. Might we actually kill this without getting to Cosmos' turn? We do. Nice. It took a bit of luck. <laughs> yeah, I suppose so. Uh, what can we do? Speed that up. And then go to... Characters. Cosmos. Use T points. I can't afford that, I guess. Well, never mind. Nope. How many of these fuckers are there going to be? Okay. Um... Yeah. 
should maybe have healed there. Chancing it a bit on Xion. Hydration check. Why couldn't you ever try to put Xion to sleep, huh? Now that I have baited them, they're going to fucking put Cosmos to sleep again. Uh, this is not going well. Hmm. You need to heal. Gotta heal. Yep, that was the right call. I live in fear of the possibility that the S move here might miss. But I'm not sure, touch wood, I'm not sure they can. Boost Cosmos. Um, try to finish this one off. Hope I'm lucky. Oh, uh, wait. I have Esme. I thought she on Esme was last turn. Oh no, because she healed. That's right. That's why it's out of sequence. Uh... Right. Drill time. Posture check or stretch or whatever you want to call it. All systems clear. I suppose it doesn't hurt to do a bit of grinding at least. Um... Oh, Momo. Onwards. Right. Not going that way this time. Let's go straight on. There's going to be a save point right through here. Maybe. Maybe there's just going to be a shop. Uh, or whatever we have here. Oh. oh, I didn't get to the shock thing in time. Damn it. Do you really think this is a good idea? Oh, this sucks. This really sucks. Um I'm glad I healed up. Um I'm going to try something. But I'm not sure that it works the way I want it to, so we'll see. Yeah, it's... Is it? I'm not sure. Oh, 
Oh, cool. We can escape the battle. Nice. Let's try that again with actually getting the thing, because this encounter is going to be a bugger, whatever it does. Um... Momo. Got it. I think. Yes. Okay. I think this lineup is actually worse. <laughs> Fuck. Oh man. Okay. Um. Defending doesn't help very much, but it does help a little. Oh, don't crit me. Not with the high damage move. Okay, it didn't crit me. It's fine. God, they love to bully Shion so much. One finally tried to put Shion to sleep. Excellent. Uh, what am I going to do? Chancing it a bit to see if I can take this one out. Um, with the benefit of the high crit turn and two um, full charges. Because at least if I can get rid of this one, then there's no AoE damage to worry about. Please? Yes! Okay. Chaos to sleep. Yeah. Chaos woken up again? Yes. Okay. Uh... We'll boost Chaos in. And Cosmos should be able, especially with the crit, to take one of these out in a single turn. Pokey, poke, pokey, poke, pokey. Uh... Well, that's expensive. Unleash some of thy power. But it is my most powerful healing ability at the moment, so uh, better make use of it. This is going to be Cosmos. No. Nope. Okay. Good, good. Bad crit incoming. Yep. Ah, it's not too bad. Cosmos is tough. Uh... Right. Oh, these fucking insects are so fast. <laughs> fucking miss, don't fucking miss. Is that gonna be enough to get Shion? Shion has a boost, cool. That boost will be useful.
Oh man, I am starting to be super dopey. It's drill time again though, we're nearly done with this fight. What's the other problem with fights like this? Because they're so repetitive. Um, even though in practice they are... Uh, I want to... Oh, I can't boost Xion from her own turn, that's right. Um, It's very easy to start tuning out in the middle of them. Um, especially in the mop-up phase where like the battle is now won. But now I just really am trying to, like, not fall over. Um, right. What I can do here is I can do this. And on Chaos's turn, I can boost to Cosmos. Poke. Poke. Oh, and we win the fight before I actually get Cosmos to turn. Eh, whatever. It's over. I can find out whatever that was protecting. At least there's lots of drops. What were you protecting? A revive. A cure all. And. Aha! A revive DX. Nice. Anything else? No? Okay. Back we go. That dripping is so effective as a just like, this area is gross, beware kind of signifier. Every time I see a drip, it's like, ah, uh, why? There's an enemy down here. I should actually do a little bit of healing, I think. Uh. The horse guys are fun, at least. Hopefully it's just a horse guy, or two, or three. Oh, fuck me. Um, uh, okay. I don't think I've been as lucky with the... So, I don't know if I've, I've actually explained this since it was tutorialized in the first stream. If you look on the bottom right corner... Oh, cool. Xion's got the crit. Um, where the turn order is displayed. To the left of the turn order is that little thing that at the moment looks like a, um, a an explosion op under it. That's a cycle of different boosts that's, that goes through per turn. That one is the crit up. This one boosts the boost gauge, which is the pink gauge under the profile pictures. Um, and... Um, means that you get more turns if you remember to use the mechanic. Um, and then this one is for bonus XP, basically. Um, or bonus secondary XP. Um, and so a lot depends on where you get your turns, which part, parts of the sequence you get your turns in. Um... Like, actually advanced play requires you to memorize the sequence, and I'd never have. Um, occasionally I remember it, because 
there are some bosses where like the entire possibility of beating the boss depends on you understanding the mechanic. Um, but um, and you can get by fine without it. Oh, I should have boosted to Chaos there so he'd get two turns. Um... Hydration check. Drill time. They have eyes on their backs. Now, the Gnosis designs aren't like Scarlet Nexus levels of cool, but they are a neat kind of JRPG ass throwing together of organic and, and robot components to make something that really doesn't fit any existing classifications. Um, what have we got down here? Those also look like they can be blown up. Is that it? Oh, there's a lift. Huh. So it looks like I have to go round past where that fly is to activate the lift in order to come down to this level. Um... What's my health like? It's probably fine unless this is five of the fuckers or something. Your orders, Great news, it's five of the fuckers. Ugh. Okay. Um... Okay. Almost certainly pulling from the same basic reservoir of uh, influences, though. And Cosmos is asleep. That didn't take long. This battle is going to suck a lot. Like this. Um. It is again a matter of thinning out the enemy numbers. Right, Cosmos. This probably isn't going to be enough to get a kill, I'm not sure. Please? Nope. That's good. That's a wasted turn. Anytime they waste a turn trying to put Xion to sleep, good news. But when Cosmos goes to sleep, it's very bad because that's most of my damage off the table. On the other hand, if they double sleep Cosmos, that's fine. Uh... Chaos. Get an extra, extra quick uh, special attack off. I guess they can keep putting Cosmos to sleep.
please. Nope. Uh, let's boost in Shion. Because turn order is everything. Right. What do I want to do with Xion? Um, if one of you could wake the robot up, that would be great. I don't think it's going to happen, but it would be lovely. Or if the robot could wake herself up. My computer's started doing that again lately. Oh, it's going to go very badly if uh, Chaos gets put to sleep. No, good, that missed. Good. Uh, what have we got? Cool. <laughs> oh my god, my brain is going. Too many hours of this. Like last week I went for almost four and it was fine. This week it just feels tiring somehow. Different headspaces, I guess. At least we got some good bonus points that, uh, that fight. Right. Momo. Another problem with these, this game is that the menus do go a bit too deep. Uh, any loot? No. Function the elevator inside the goop ship. Uh, it's faster than me. God damn it. Look forward to fighting another five fuck it. Yeah, there we go. This looks familiar. Um... Oh, fuck me. Don't do that. Jesus Christ. This is a bad start. Um... That's chaos. If they put chaos to sleep, that's not too big of a loss. If it means that I get to use actually use chaos mouse. This is another point where I should probably have healed. By the way, when I fled from the um, battle earlier, only Shion has the ability to flee the whole party at once. Um, oh, this sucks. Um, they're just all going to put Cosmos to sleep.
Is Xion going to get a turn at any point? Or are they just going to kill it and I'm going to lose all this progress? It's been a very, very, very long time since I saved. I think we'd better leave. If it turns out this can miss, I'm going to be so salty. Okay. <sighs> Please don't let this go straight into a boss fight. Please don't let this get cool. Uh, right. Um, Mom is out of VP. Uh, we can fix that. Uh, equip. That's right, it's Nightwalker. What could I give her instead? Um, let's do that. she not equip the friggin... God damn it. <laughs> she can't equip it. <laughs> what the heck? They did have a different uh, item type, I suppose. There's a dude over there. Oh, there's also a dude over there. Fuck. For lost souls, may you be Ugh, no, we're not doing this. Um... I will fucking reset the fucking thing. Hydration check. Uh, at least it's a cheap ability. This one I can I do. Let anyone die. Uh, one. Yeah. Two. Uh, yeah. That's a good start. Finish him. That's promising, actually. No, not quite. Um... Let's get this one out of the way. <sighs> that should kill that at least. Yep, good. Ow. I really hope there's a save point soon. I'm going to stop at the next save point, even if it's the end of the area. Um. But it is a noted problem with this game that the areas get a bit long, given how sluggish the combat is. 
Who's gonna get put to sleep? It's Cosmos again. Stop doing 69 damage, that's rude. I like the battle theme, but it's definitely one of those battle themes that, like, you hear too much and it just starts to become background hum. Oh, she on level up. Nice. What the fuck? Is this just a dead end? Okay. Oh no, I can go down here. What is that noise? Why is there a random rushing water noise just there and nowhere else? This now seems like it might be the way forward. That's not destroyable. We've got new Gnosis. I've been next to the water before and it didn't make a noise. No, oh, okay. What's the big guy gonna do? Um, we shall find out. So it appears to be take quite a lot of damage, which is good. Oh, I don't like the look of that. Stuff waiting for me in Discord. Interesting. Thank you. Okay, so those guys aren't too bad if you can get them by themselves. Oh, okay. Thanks for the heads up. Uh, where are we? Oh my god, are we still not done with this area? Um, yeah. Let's see if Cosmos can take this out with a crit. Please? No. Could even put it to sleep, so that's okay. Okay, uh, ba bum ba bum ba bum. Uh, please don't miss, Shion. I need you to not miss. Oh my god, my brain is just... Uh... 
Okay. <clears throat> Jesus, when did Cosmos take all that damage? I think I got that shot off in time. Your orders, Please. Leon. Okay. Oh, nice. I get the extra turns. Fantastic. Um, uh, how does this work then? Houston Shion. So now I should be able to boost in Chaos. And I can do that. And on Chaos's turn, I should be able to boost. Yes, okay. This is working. Come on, video game, yield. Our drill. Red boosts are fun. Red boosts mean you get a full set of extra turns at the start of the battle. And you can bully. Save point? Anywhere? Anywhere, please? Or just more Gnosis? Probably just more Gnosis. This dude over there. I might be able to juke. There's a save point! And a shop! Wait, hang on. Before I save, I'm going to tent and then save. I have all these tents somewhere. <sighs> okay. Gnosis core. So yeah, that's probably where the boss is. Right. I need to stand up and move around and maybe also go to the loo and stuff. So I'm going to send the raid somewhere. Who's live? Uh, Proxy's live. Let's go raid Proxy. We haven't done that in a while. Uh, thank you for being here, everyone. I am next live on Tuesday doing something I know not what. Uh, but I'll come to some sort of decision. And uh, see you then. Raid actually work. <laughs> <laughs>